hey guys welcome back to the channel today i'm gonna bring you this nice honey garlic pork ribs i know i wanted to go ahead and post every single day for vlogmas but let's just say <sighs> what's happening in the world got the best of me covid got the best of me but nevertheless let's hop into today's video <music> So the first thing you want to go ahead and do is get your ribs washed and I am using uh, pork ribs today. You can make this with beef ribs, you can make this with uh, chicken or whatever else you want to use. So first thing you want to do is just go ahead and get your ribs washed. So I'm going to go ahead and pour some vinegar into mine guys, mix it all up and then make sure it's nice and clean on all edge and then rinse it off. So give it about two little good washes guys and then just go ahead and drain that water out. Once you drain this dirty water out, I've rinsed this twice with vinegar lemon. You want to go ahead and pour some water on it. That's how I clean my meat. Now once you do that, what you want to do is rinse this out again. Make sure you give it a good rinse and then we get to the seasoning portion of it guys. Now what you want to do is go ahead and pat this dry and then let's get the seasoning. This is going to be your regular season that you have in your um, pantry. Onion powder, garlic powder, paprika, um, cumin, ginger powder, a little bit of salt, black pepper, and um, I put a little bit of five spice powder because it's a honey garlic pork chop. It's going more towards like the Asian feel. So I tend to like um, the five spice powder in it if you don't like it you don't have to put it you can omit that but I kind of like it or just season it with whatever you want and then just go ahead and mix this up have this set aside and let's get to working on the oil now you want to have a pan hotting with some um well just get it hot very hot you're going to go ahead and add your oil to it and then what you want to do to your ribs just add a little bit of cornstarch we're not deep frying this we're just going to go ahead and sear it off so you want to just go ahead and place your um pork chops or i'm sorry your pork ribs into the pan just get a nice sear on it if you could hear, hear this it's a nice crust so sear it off on both sides and then repeat now once you have everything seared, take it out guys and take, keep the bits, don't worry about it, it might look burnt, it's not, we want that, that is the flavor. So what you want to do, go ahead and add a few tablespoons of butter to it and then I added two tablespoons of minced garlic. Now preferably use the fresh garlic, I had the bottle one on hand, um, you can go ahead and use that but if you're using the bottle one, I try not to use so much of the garlic because it's going to give it a nice, it's going to have a, like a sour-ish taste because garlic is preserved in like a vinegar base type solution. So just go ahead and add some honey to this guys, I know it went fast, add some soy sauce and then to that add some Worcestershire. Once you have your Worcestershire added, you want to go ahead, it must have like a little thick consistency. So if you like you see me do it there drag it at the back of the spoon and you see that a little um, line or whatever you want to call it you're perfectly fine so what you want to do is go ahead and season it at this point we're not adding any salt because the soy sauce and the Worcestershire sauce is going to add the salt for us add your pepper flakes as spicy as you want it if you want to and then what you do is add the ribs back to the pot guys and let it simmer a bit now after about 15 minutes of simmering on a low heat you have this deliciousness this is a nice sticky sweet and spicy honey garlic ribs and like i said you can try this on um beef ribs pork ribs you can do this with chicken thighs lamb duck if you don't eat pork that's fine whatever you want to and if you guys look it is literally fork tender so don't even worry about it this is delicious and i hope you guys enjoy I hope you enjoyed the recipe, but again, thank you so much guys for your support. I thank you for my old subscribers, new subscribers. I know I really wanted to post vlogmas for you guys, um, but like I said, COVID got the best of me. I was down and out for about two to three weeks. I'm back up and running now. Thank God all is well. So I will try to go ahead and post at least once or twice a week. Guys, go ahead and follow me on TikTok. Um, same handle as this one, Cooking with Debs. Follow me on Instagram, same handle. 
I really would appreciate the support. So just go ahead and hit the like, subscribe button. Let me know what else you guys want to see. Happy New Year to all and be safe out there. Stay blessed.